Hey, my name is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to episode number 42 of Ask Ian. Today we've got a question from Cody Werner, who wrote and said, my issue will be that I play phenomenally for a few points and then completely shank a shot or whiff a ball into the net for no apparent reason. I have indeed improved at consistency from point to point, but that has been, or this has been, one of my biggest issues since starting to play tennis. All right, Cody, I've got two uh, stories for you. Uh, story number one was at the U.S. Open. I can't remember if this, if this was two years ago or three years ago, but I was watching the Williams sisters play doubles and... Really, really enjoyed watching them play doubles. This, this is the first time that I kind of see them, that I had seen them relatively close. I was in a Louis Armstrong Stadium, just a couple uh, rows from the, the front. They're incredibly aggressive. And there was one particular point where Venus was serving, Serena was at the net on her deuce side. It was a good serve by Venus. The return of serve was... Uh, the returning player attempted to hit past Serena. Serena poached across and got just a sitter shoulder high backhand, which she went to hit aggressively with uh, two hands on her backhand side. And she sent it from her racket directly into the stands <laughs> behind the baseline over on the other side of the court. So this was, I mean, relatively, relatively easy ball. It had some pace on it, but this was a routine put away shot. And she hit it not onto the court and then into the stands, into the stands <laughs> directly. Uh, and then story number two, just from a couple weeks ago, I was watching Federer play, um, who's he playing? Uh, Seppi, can't remember wh which round this was at the BMP Paribas. And Roger was not, this was not the cleanest match for either Seppi or Federer. They, they, neither of them really looked very comfortable uh, either set. And Roger hit on a sitter backhand. This was not like a short, weak shot, but a backhand that was just sitting there and he went and swung aggressively at it. The ball hit off the top of his frame, was in the air for like a good 10 seconds. I mean, way up in the air. And I don't know how many rows back in the stands it went. But in both of these cases, these are top of the top. I mean, great, some of the greatest players of all time I'm talking about here. Both of them hitting routine shots and putting the ball directly in the stands. So if this happens to you know, Serena Williams, if this happens to Roger Federer, should we expect to play an hour of tennis and not hit some kind of boneheaded shot? And the answer is no, we shouldn't expect that. We're, we're going to hit terrible shots. I mean, quite frankly, that just kind of comes with the territory. Now, I'm not saying that you should expect to play you know, badly, but do expect that there's going to be some ebbs and flows, and you're going to have some individual shots, certainly, that are just way below your average level of play. And that's just part of it. So overall, your goal should be to improve consistently, and your ability to avoid those boneheaded shots will over time increase uh, your ability to avoid them as long as your, your practice sessions are focused and you have a purpose behind each of them. But don't ever have the expectation that you're going to just play great tennis all the time and you won't come away with any of those uh, kind of embarrassing shots. It happens to all of us no matter how good we get. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Thank you so much uh, for watching and for writing, writing in with your question. If you're watching today on YouTube or on Facebook, do me a favor and click like. Be sure to subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel where we're posting videos all the time. And if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Take care and good luck with your tennis.